Hi, Christy here. I wanted to come to you today and show you how to make a week's worth of meals that can be used for lunch or dinner. So I'm going to show you how to make uh, turkey taco salad and I'm going to also show you how to make meals using chicken, brown rice, and roasted vegetables. Now for the chicken dish, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, baking my chicken breasts in the oven, but I'm seasoning it three different ways so that as I eat it throughout the week, it's going to have different flavors and I think that really helps with food boredom. Um, I've got my rice cooking over here in my rice cooker. I do use a rice cooker. I love my rice cooker. You don't have to use a rice cooker. Um, it does take a long, a long time in the rice cooker. Brown rice takes about an hour and a half, so I did already start that. Um, but obviously you can use rice, and I'll post some pictures of this in our uh, challenge, but you can use the rice that is boil in a bag that takes like 10 minutes. They even have individual cups of brown rice that you can heat up in the microwave. Um, I will just caution you that usually that's about two servings in one of those individual cups, but those are so easy to use. And um, then when we're done, we're going to portion them out. I personally use these meal prep containers. I really like these. Um, these particular ones that I have have three different sections, but for my turkey taco salad, I'm not going to use these because I don't want to put my lettuce in with my turkey meat that I'll have to warm up in the microwave. So um, one of the things that I did is I got my pan ready for the chicken, and what I did is I took some aluminum foil and I just folded it up really tight and then folded the ends over so it makes a divider. So I've got my three different sections for the three different types of chicken breast that I'm going to use. The first recipe is a um, juice from two limes, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of red pepper sauce or sriracha, one teaspoon of ginger paste, and one teaspoon of garlic paste and a little cilantro. So let's start with that. say you want to preheat your oven to 405 okay so now my chicken is all cut up and I'm gonna pour my sauce on top of my chicken I'm gonna take my pan and I'm gonna pour this into one section we are going to do the second recipe which is three tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And one thing I just want to caution you with with the barbecue sauce is I had to really do a lot of reading. Make sure you're reading your ingredients, not just the nutrition label, because a lot of these have a lot of sugar. So, and I didn't want anything with high fructose corn syrup. So it took me a while in the aisle to figure out which barbecue sauce I wanted to use. So I'm using Stubbs um, Original Barbecue Sauce. Okay, and this is what this one looks like, okay? Put this chicken now in the second uh, row. Okay. okay, let me move this back out of the way. We'll do our third recipe. Our last recipe is, it's three tablespoons of spicy mustard, uh, one tablespoon of coconut sugar, one tablespoon of garlic paste, one teaspoon of ginger, and half teaspoon of cumin. We're gonna pour the mustard mixture onto our chicken. I'm gonna pour that into my last section here. Okay, so that's gonna go in the oven at 405 for 20 minutes. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our roasted vegetables. So I am doing a mixture of um, cauliflower, broccoli, asparagus, squash, peppers. Yeah, I think that's it. So let's start with the asparagus. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut up all of our vegetables and we are going to put it on, um, I've got two different sheet pans here that I've lined with parchment paper. And we will need to increase the oven temperature to 450 when we put the vegetables in, but by the time we're cutting all of this, the chicken should be pretty much done.
Okay. Now I did not. Me I didn't measure like it called for. Um, the onions are getting to me. Um, this is called Sunday roasted vegetables. Cook once, eat all week. And this says to chop 16 cups of mixed vegetables. I didn't measure mine, so okay, we're fine. Um, then we need. It says eight cloves of garlic. So we're going to do the garlic, and then we're going to add a quarter cup of olive oil and a teaspoon of salt. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the lid on this and shake it up to try to distribute the olive oil and the salt. And I'm just going to pour this out. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to brown our turkey and I bought organic lean ground turkey. So I'm going to brown that in my pan. Now, one of the things that I did is I made my own taco seasoning. Let me show you that. So this is the taco seasoning that I made, and I'll be sure to give you the recipe for this. Um, I love making my own because that way I know exactly what's in it, and it's just spices. There's no MSG. There's it's not high in sodium, and so it's and it's totally easy. It takes literally like two minutes to do it. Okay, so now we're going to add our taco seasoning now that the meat is cooked. Okay, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, for the vegetables. Now, I took the hard way. I cut up all those vegetables and I'm roasting them. But if you want to take the easier way, <coughs> excuse me, one of the things you can do is just buy a mixed veggie blend. Um, this is a California style veggie, veggie blend. It's got broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots in it. There's several other different varieties that you can get at the grocery store, but you could just cook these. You can either steam them or you can roast them or you can boil them. And um, that would certainly be a lot easier than the way that I did it. I just really love fresh roasted vegetables. So the decision is totally up to you. Um, again, it'll cut down on your time if you go this route. And frozen vegetables are always a better way to go versus canned vegetables because they are frozen at the peak of uh, freshness. So it really is, you know, frozen vegetables. If you can't do fresh, then do frozen. So that's my um, recommendation if you want to save time. Our vegetables are roasting right now and our chicken is done, my brown rice is done, so I'm just waiting on the vegetables for that meal. So I'm going to show you now how I portion out the, um, how I make the taco uh, meal. So what I'm going to do is, now I use these portion control containers to make sure that I um, am using the correct portions. You certainly don't need to use these, but if you are interested in them, please let me know. I can um, send you a link so that you order them through me. And, um, and it's really helped me tremendously in my weight loss journey to, that really was a turning point for me after years of struggling was figuring out the right portion. So um, what I'm gonna do, normally I would use these containers that are sectioned out, but for the taco, um, I don't think I'm going to do that because I want to make it into like a turkey, I mean, um, taco salad, and obviously I don't want my lettuce in the same container as my turkey, I mean my taco meat, if I'm gonna have to warm that up. Is I've already rinsed and drained some corn and black beans. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna portion out my taco meat. So that's gonna be one red container, which is a protein. So I've got that full, so I'm gonna put that in my container here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my carb, which is my yellow container, and I'm gonna do like half corn and half black beans. So half corn, half black beans, and I'm going to just dump it in there. And the other thing you could do if you want is you could put cheese in here. If I was going to put cheese, I would use my blue container to measure that out and I would put that right on top. I'm going to personally use a separate container for my salad. Um, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to reheat this. I'm going to pour it on top of my lettuce and there's my lunch or my dinner. So I'm going to take my green container 
milk because that's my vegetable and I'm going to fill my green container with my lettuce and now I've got my turkey or my I keep saying turkey my taco meat with my corn and my black beans and I've got my lettuce here when I'm ready I'll just take these you know if I'm going somewhere I can take both of these with me I can reheat this one dump it on top and there's my salad for lunch or dinner um, the other thing I'm going to add to this is some salsa so I just went out and got some organic salsa and I'm gonna put that in a in a container um, actually let me do that now so your purple container actually is counted um, salsa is counted as a purple which is a fruit unless you make it yourself if you make homemade salsa and it's really just tomatoes and onions and you know whatever else you choose to put in there vegetables then it's going to be a green container so I'm gonna put a quarter to a half of a purple container and I'm just going to put it into my small Tupperware container and that way I've got that with me as well some people go ahead and put their meals all together for the entire week and some people will just take this taco meat and put that in a separate container and just keep everything separate and that way you can mix and match it even more so let's say you decide um, I'm not going to do corn and black beans today I'm going to do brown rice with my taco meat or I'm going to put it in a tortilla then that's certainly an option you don't have to do it the way that I've shown here um, one option is to just have everything cooked and ready and then you decide on the day of how you want to mix and match your items okay so I just want to show you f one pound of ground turkey made for meals and you can again you can use these for lunch or dinner I've got my brown rice already I've got my chicken ready and the only thing we have left is our veggies First, we're gonna measure out our brown rice we're gonna use our yellow container again that's for carbs if you're not following the container system that's okay you just portion out the amount that you think is appropriate for you so I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put that in the small section I'm just going to stop there. I've got four containers filled with rice. Now I'm going to move on to my chicken. This is the mustard chicken that I made. And I'm going to measure this in my red container. So here's our vegetables. All we have left to do is portion out our vegetables. I've got my chicken dishes with my brown rice and my vegetables and again these are the three different recipes and then I've got my uh, taco meat and I still have a lot left to portion out I've only done four so far so I hope that this video tutorial was helpful for you I hope that if you decide to give these recipes a try that you'll let me know what you think of them and um, don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions about either the recipes or meal prepping in general. And I'm looking forward to just watching you um, reach all your health goals by spending a little bit of time each week on meal prep.